Hi guys, it's Eddie and in today's video, I'm going to tell you guys about apps that you can use to be more productive. I personally use all these apps and quite a few more, but these are my personal favorites. These are apps that I just can't do without. Obviously, I know just like the last video I made on apps, a lot of you are going to comment that apps don't really make you productive. But that's not right. I feel that the mobile phone is one of the greatest tools mankind has, just like the knife. You can either use it to make food or you can use it to kill a person, right? So use your phone wisely and you'll be fine. So let's get into this video where I tell you about the apps you must download. I use an Android, so I'm pretty sure all of these are available on Android. However, if you use the iPhone, I'm sure you'll get these or at least alternatives to these on the store or whatever that store oh it's called apple store yeah right rich people i don't know the first app that i can't just do without is this app called keep my notes now obviously there are hundreds of note taking apps i have which i've used quite a few of them but the thing is and keep my notes it's simple yet it has the requirements that I have at the same place. Most of the note taking apps are either too simple or too complex. Too simple as in it's just a page where you can write anything you want. The thing is sometimes I need to segregate my notes. So for this I can just segregate my notes inside keep my notes. But unlike some apps which have like different folders and all that which again gets very problematic if you are on the go and you just want to quickly check something. You can't really go through a lot of folders right. So this app basically lists down all the notes that you take. So I have different categories for my studies, work, client accounts, etc. And I can maintain them all within five notes. That's all I need. It is very simple and yet just suits whatever I need perfectly. If you are someone who needs an app to segregate notes, but you don't need a lot of features, Keep My Notes is the best app that I found on Android. Once again, all the apps that I recommend are either free in their basic version or at least have a free trial because I won't recommend anything that you can't afford right now. The next app is the most simple app that you probably didn't expect me to suggest, but that is an alarm. And I, I, I can't say how much this has helped me. I'm waking up at 6 a.m. every day right now. And it's mainly because I'm using the alarm regularly. And don't go crazy with your alarm. Don't set alarms at 15 minutes each. Set one alarm and try to wake up with that okay no one can force you to be disciplined discipline comes from within you and your phone will just aid you in your venture but make sure you put a nice ringtone a ringtone that you love waking up to not something that you hate which a lot of people do recommend but the thing is your morning will start off in a bad mood which is not a good day good way to start your day right the next app that I'll recommend is also a very simple app. All phones already probably have it. It is the calendar app. I use Google Calendar. The calendar app is so underrated. You can enter all the events that you have on a particular date inside the calendar app and it will remind you. I personally also build habits by including them inside my calendar. So if you want to do a particular thing, maybe it's a particular workout, maybe it's cooking, maybe it's a new hobby that you're pursuing on Mondays, you can en enter that for Mondays and the calendar itself will remind you that this is the day when you're destined to, or, or sorry, you planned to do something. <laughs> It really helps, uh, especially because I had a bit of a problem developing this habit of meditation, but using the calendar and the same time every day on the calendar, it will remind me that, hey, Heli, this is the time you must go and practice meditation on Headspace. I use Headspace for meditation. A lot of people also use Calm, which will be my next two recommendations if you want productivity apps. I love them. I absolutely love them. Calm and Headspace help you not only in meditation but also in a good sleep which is very underrated. A good sleep is the key to success in life. I believe that you cannot get anywhere half asleep. So make sure that you're using these two apps to sleep or just feel more calm in general because our lives have gotten exponentially stressful and I really think that these two apps are one of the biggest gifts to mankind. The next app I'll recommend is Spotify, but not the music section. I love the music section and I explore a lot of old music. I'm a very old school person. What is productive in Spotify is the podcasts collection that it has. It has podcasts on anything and everything you need to learn. Marketing, YouTube, business, studies, uh, memorizing, brain puzzles, everything everything is there whatever your 
specialization or whatever your needs may be you will find a few podcasts directed at you and especially if you are absolutely a noob in a particular genre like i was a noob in finances listening to podcasts help me so much obviously books are there but podcasts are much better because they are just small content and you know precise content if you have less time podcasts are much better for people with busy lives and listening to podcasts actually makes you feel very intellectual i have no idea what that's about but you know i i like the feeling of listening to podcasts and podcasts are relatively new in india but if you have listened to them you know what i'm talking about and if you haven't just download spotify and start listening to podcasts The next app I'll recommend is Storytel not the fiction but the non-fiction part for staying productive I find almost all the books I need regarding health money business entrepreneurship marketing on Storytel and their non-fiction collection is so massive it it's just endless Storytel also has a great collection of guided meditations which also help a lot in sleeping and meditating and uh, since i got a bit bored of headspace i started using it because headspace after a certain point of time it gets very repetitive because there are only f- i think about 10 or 12 collections of audios but uh, storytel has much more than that storytel does not have a free version it has a free trial rather of 30 days you can use a 30 day trial of storytel and listen to on lakh plus audiobooks if you want to using my code storytel.com/heli and the link will be in the description below use it and let me know which books you pick up i am currently reading this non fiction once again called how to talk to anybody anywhere anytime the next app that i'll recommend is any yoga or workout app now most of these apps will be free in the basic version but most of them want to upsell you to a paid version of your diet but i really don't think that's necessary you can just do the basic exercises and start seeing changes in your life your health is one of the most important things in your life just tell me if you had one home one room to live in would you not take care of it would you not keep it clean would you not make sure that you stay in a safe place well your body is your home your body is something that you come with and you'll go with So make sure you are taking care of it. A lot of us in our daily hustle, studies, work, we forget about our health and we don't really care about it unless our backs are spraining or our teeth are absolutely falling out. Please don't do that and you don't really need to do hours of workouts. Just 10 minutes a day are more than enough, but do it consistently. The next app I'll recommend is a wallet app no matter which phase of life you're in I'm sure you deal with money and having a wallet app helps you a lot I personally found this app called Money Tracker much more helpful than the others because the others sort of require you to attach your banks to it which I don't really like doing uh, unless it's absolutely necessary so in money tracker you basically can enter whatever you are earning or spending manually and it will take whatever you say obviously you need to be honest but it's totally up to you what you want to do the next app that i'll recommend is this art app it shows you one piece of art every day i know it's not productive directly but it sort of helps you replenish your mind and expand what you think and tells you what a painting is about and it's very difficult to understand paintings on your own so i find that app really nice also it's just one painting every day so you don't really sp- have to spend a lot of time but it adds to your happiness throughout the day and expands your brain capacity a little every day which i really like about productive apps and talking about expanding the brain's capacity you need to have these brain puzzle apps there's this app called peak labs there's this app called brilliant which i like more brilliant is a brilliant app the problem is brilliant is very costly it's around 400 per month but if you want to try the free version you can do that but the free version is very limited like very limited If you want to get the paid version I think it's a good idea especially if you spend 500 rupees per month on Netflix or TV cable connection instead of it I think brilliant helps a lot in developing your brain power in a lot of different areas my personal favorite being logic problems I love logic problems and if you can't uh, afford brilliant you can find out logic problems online I love tedd riddles if you have ever check them out these apps help a lot in expanding your brain power and leave you like <sighs> this is my expression when i'm mind blown okay so they really really affect your brain so i really like these apps and i 
usually spend about 15 to 30 minutes here every day it speeds up my brain's power which helps a lot because i have to study a subject where there's a lot of understanding and memorizing involved so it helps a lot when my brain is performing at its peak levels next app that i'll recommend is any vocabulary builder most of these give you one word per day or you can take tests and see how many you know already anyway these are extremely helpful and no matter which field you are in a greater vocabulary is obviously going to help you the last app that i'll recommend to you guys is any day by day organizer if you have a lot of things to do if you have a lot of project that you're tackling in a month you can use organizers to keep a track of it write down your goals write down the steps that you're going to take on which days organizing your whole schedule helps a lot in you actually achieving what you set out to do i also do this by hand by the way and not essentially on apps but i think that for those of you who are more comfortable with your phone this app might help a lot now i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you like this video make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up let me know in the comments below which is the one app you can't do without and i won't take pubg for an answer <laughs> so yeah guys that's it i'll see you with my next video very soon till then bye bye